about the future? Civil Society Futures is a national conversation focusing on how can we get a flourishing English civil society in a fast changing world. We've spoken to thousands of people across England to see what their experiences of civil society is like. We soon discovered that their average age um, attracting people to our community workshops for example was 57 and we recognise that if we're speaking about the future then we really need to engage with young people so we decided to uh, create a process where we would engage with young people across England and that's what we did. I fear the future. My fear for the future is that. My hope for the future is. My hope for the future would be. I fear the future is. I hope the future is bright. running workshops across all our spaces in England that we've been working with, we have brought all of the young people together in the same space for a two-day um, workshop um, and mission to create something, a response to the inquiry and to PACT. How do you see the society's going to be and what do you want your place in it to be? Because then we want to just get that from everyone and just hand it to a smaller group who are then going to like, take that underlying thing, like what are the key things we going to take out there? I've spent 20 years of my life working with young people and so I'm not surprised that they are quite so incredible but what surprised me over the past couple of days has been just how powerful, articulate, sometimes angry, urgent, determined and, and how collective their responses have been. So we've had young people from Gloucester saying exactly the same things as young people from Manchester saying the same things as the young people from Liverpool. And I think that's shocked everyone, the connectivity between the things that they are demanding for their futures. Um, and for me, it's now time for people to start listening. <laughs> Um, yesterday we sat in a room with the young people and they were talking about how they feel like sometimes they're wheeled out into events by people in organisations, by people who have more power than them and they used to showcase their, their talents or their organisations and all the good work they're doing but then they return home and nothing really happens. So if there's anything that can come of this inquiry and especially this strand of the inquiry is how we take action um, and don't just say these things. What can we do to really shape the future and put ch children and young people at the heart of it, leading it? Um, right, what well, back to themes? Brexit, mental health, diversity, hope. But as well as maybe just like vague feel... statements. Because I think this is quite nice. Um, Scout said, what well, I hope for the future, but then you could have like words like equality do, do, do you know what I mean? what's been amazing is all of the things that young people have been saying have connected up from north to east to west to south there's been a lot of unity and solidarity across the couple of days and we've set them with the task of creating a response to the things that really matter to them uh, the things they want people to hear um, and the future that they imagine together Why is every person for themselves? All this for freedom, what's the cost? Coming together is an evolution. People come and fight against illusion and exclusion. As a Muslim woman of color, should I dare think that I am capable of being the leader I know I'm destined to be? I won't even ask if I should, as they claim we now live in a democracy. But how could that be close to true when we feel chained down by society as we walk around free. It's sad to say that in 15 years, people will still be greedy. They will take too much and not give back. 
I don't think anything will happen to stop people being racist and unaccepting. There will still be a social divide. Once I was ashamed of thoughts of diagnoses and illnesses they'd associate my name, brandishing your complexities with some inescapable label. Henceforth, forever your records will read mentally unstable. As a society, we proudly shout, all children matter, knowing full well some get, some don't. And yet we live in a democracy where the government sits back and asks us to vote. As a child in care, you always feel fear. And as a child in care, you're quick to learn. So far from home and so alone, but with her. To be together was a lucky break. To be together kept us safe. What I hope for the future is equality. I want the youth to have a voice, for everyone to be respectful, for it to be a safe world and for the arts to come back into schools and for it to be a beautiful and united world. The NHS we're proud of what a sport it deserves. We built off a politics of policies, not personalities and slurs. I want us to face the future and be open to the world. Let's join to face this challenge in a multitude of ways. Resistance is fertile, let's join to form a wave. <laughs> Can we have a, can we have a green?